Hello and welcome to this update video. In the past these have been rather scattershot, so I decided I want to try to keep them a little bit more regular, maybe do them once every six months. So the last one was in December and now it is hopefully the end of June and I'm going to do another one. So let's get going. So the first thing I wanted to do was actually ask a question to my audience here. And I guess I kind of have to set that question up first. So here's the situation. For the past few years, going back as far as like 2020, I've basically been focusing on doing full series deep dives, like Prince of Persia, Paper Mario, and now Mario and Luigi, with a few detours in between, like my videos on The World Ends With You, Chris Tales, and One Piece Odyssey. The one exception being Metroid Dread, happening just after my first Paper Mario video. I didn't really plan it out this way, it kind of just happened to work out. This is a good setup, since I can usually dedicate myself to these series without a whole lot of outside distractions, and it means that you guys are never really guessing as to what I'm going to be working on next, or whether the next video I'm making is going to be one that you've been waiting for or not, but unfortunately it's not a perfect setup. For instance, Summer Games Fest just happened and a lot of really cool games were announced, many of which I'll really want to cover when they release. So what happens if a game I'm really, really interested in comes out smack dab in the middle of a series retrospective? I could either drop everything I'm doing and detour to the new game, almost certainly delaying the next video in a series and breaking the flow of that series, or I could put the new game on the back burner, likely delaying a video on it for months or more, even possibly never getting to them because my list of games that I want to cover is already really long. On top of new games that I'm interested in covering like Lies of P and Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, the latter of which is 100% happening, I've still got games like Neo, The World Ends With You, Outer Wilds, Hades, and tons more on my immediate to-do list. So I kind of wanted to put it all to you, get your opinions. Should I follow my fancies and just make videos on what I'm passionate about at the time, or do you prefer the more structured schedule? I'm really interested to see what you think. Okay, next thing I wanted to talk about was my Patreon page. And first things first, I need to shout out my current Patreon members, I still can't thank you enough. It really means the world to me that you believe in me and my work enough that you'd support me directly. But anyways, back to the Patreon as a whole. First thing is I'm planning on recording my first Patreon exclusive video soon. It wouldn't be a game retrospective, it'll be more of a behind the scenes sort of thing, talking about something I do in my videos that I think is different from basically everybody else. I don't know if it'll be interesting, but I think it's cool at least. Next, I need to address something. I know I said I wasn't going to make a habit of mentioning my Patreon, but after some thought, I've decided to renege on that particular promise. I want to keep making videos basically forever, and not only that, I want to keep making them better and better forever. And I feel like the best way to help me do that is to grow the channel and the audience, and I feel like not taking obvious opportunities to do that when I can doesn't really help me at all. And to be perfectly clear, this is not a decision I take lightly. I was made a YouTube partner back in like 2011, and I didn't put full monetization on my channel until 2021 or so. But yeah, I think as of the next video, I'm gonna start mentioning it probably once. I hope that's okay with all of you. On that note, I want to thank you all for helping my channel grow as it has. These last six months have seen more growth for my channel and subscriber numbers than the previous several years, so that's super cool. One thing I think has helped with this is how I restructured the channel back in January. For those who are relatively new to the channel, I used to have over a thousand videos spanning all the way back to 2011 or something like that. I used to do Let's Plays back in the olden times. But when I started doing this more structured sort of videos, it kind of just got buried under the decade of other content, and almost certainly didn't take off as much as it could have otherwise. So in February, I took a few days, unlisted all of those old videos, and put them into their own separate playlists for people who wanted to still see them. Immediately after that happened, growth basically exploded, at least relatively, so for anyone who's found my channel after that, welcome. Now, there were a couple things I unlisted that I kind of did begrudgingly. I went to school for audio and music stuff, so I have a bunch of songs that I composed over the years that I've banished to the playlist dungeon, where basically no one will get into, and that kind of sucks. I don't want to start flooding the main page with them again or anything, just mentioning that I did that and still do that to some extent, so for those who want to check it all out, there you go. Weirdly though, is that YouTube has kind of killed off my view growth over the past few months. After segmenting my channel back in February, views shot up like crazy, which is pretty great, as that means more people are seeing the videos. However, from April to now, my views have basically been cut in half, 
for like no reason that I can see, as every other metric is just as good or better. I try not to stress about the metrics as much as I can, as things can change on a dime because YouTube is weird, but it is interesting to see at the very least. Next thing is my progress on the next video and beyond. I have already started scripting Bowser's Inside Story, and I do hope to get that done by the end of July, but that is probably being a bit optimistic. I started off this year trying to have a bit of a buffer for my videos so I wouldn't be in a situation where one was released and I didn't have anything to show for the next one in the pipeline. But unfortunately, I'm a bit of a huge perfectionist, so the Partners in Time video wiped out my entire buffer. I actually had Superstar Saga done about a month before I put it out, but I was editing the Partners in Time video a few short hours before I put it live for my patrons. I feel like it did pay off. I'd say that both my Mario and Luigi videos are amongst my best, if not my actual best videos ever, but yeah, I have a hard time really seeing something as done, and if I was given eternity to make edits, I would spend eternity editing, and I'd never release a video again. But yeah, I have Bowser's Inside Story in the works, although recording footage for it did take quite a bit longer than I had hoped. And yeah, I would love to say it's on lock for the end of July, but I have no clue if that'll actually happen. We'll see, I'm working as hard as I can on it in what little time I have, so it'll be ready when it's ready. I want to have the entirety of this franchise finished by November, so I can move on to the next thing at the start of the new year. I have the next series I want to cover already decided. It's a much smaller series and won't have nearly as many videos, but it'll also be quite a bit of departure from the Mario games, so I hope that's okay as well. I don't really like the idea of being typecast into only talking about one type of game or one franchise, as that's super boring and would probably lead to burnout a lot faster than branching out a bit, so I hope you're willing to take the journey with me. And lastly, just a few more general life updates. So I made a joke in my Partners in Time video, sort of making a jab at my weight. That was only a bit of a joke, as in reality I have started to exercise a lot and am working on trying to lose a bunch of weight. Starting back in April, I've been going out for walks and runs basically every day for about an hour after work, which is doing a lot of great things for me both mentally and physically. The actual weight loss is slow going, but I have dropped about 10 pounds since then, and I'm hoping to get down about 50 by the end of the year, or maybe early into the next. This is something I'm dedicated to and have no intention on stopping, which I think will be overall good for me, but it does mean I have a bit less time to work on videos, play games, and spend time with my friends. It's not going to make a big difference on any of those things, but it is a bit of a sacrifice and I am willing to make it to make myself happier and healthier. I've also been playing a lot of games, Tears of the Kingdom mainly, I had a ton of fun with that and I could definitely make a big video on it, but I don't think that would be in the near future if at all. I'd probably want to go through all of the other Zelda games first, but I'm not even sure if that's on the table. Beyond that, I've been experimenting with Street Fighter 6, which is pretty great, and playing World of Horror since it's coming out of early access soon, and I am super excited for that. Anyways, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about for this one, just a quick little update video. But regardless, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all once I finish the Bowser's Inside Story video. See you all later.